Okay, we're gonna forego music. We're gonna announce each night, cheer for your favorite. I'm assuming there's gonna be no booing. Maybe you guys already dislike some of these nights. The night <laughs> all the men in and out of armor. And lady. And lady. And lady. Oh, okay, our first night right up front, the bigness himself, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor may look large, but I promise he looks even bigger when he's moving at 35 miles an hour towards you on the list. Okay, then we've got Mike, the greatest showman. There's definitely been some incredible takedowns for Mike in the field. And the siege weapon, Josh. Be 
So I don't know if any of you guys have ever been in a wetsuit and then gone for a hot summer run. That's that's lovely compared to being in a suit of armor. This armor restricts your ability to remove heat from your body. So if you imagine, typically you just sweat a little bit or the breeze comes by, well, there's plate steel in between your skin and, and the atmosphere outside. You can even see these guys just standing here. You'll notice sweat start to beat up on their faces. A little helmet, helmet test. Okay, in play is Josh. Josh's gauntlets look like a weapon themselves. And then Mike, the greatest showman. We've got two forearms going against each other. Soon as Sarah had two hand jacks. It's not long enough. The pole axe is about five and a half to six and a half feet long. So as long as you're as you're rod there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. I believe that you're six feet. <laughs> okay, Sarah's just getting her helmet buttoned on. Looks like they're attaching the Simon strap. The Simon strap was not historical. I believe that's been added in recent times. In case a knight falls on the ground, their helmet flies off, and then another knight gets knocked out on top of them. You can get some some really inexpensive facial surgery. Well, actually, there's one gentleman that wears the Simon strap. One of the guys that we compete with, his helmet came off. He had a skull split with a two-handed axe. He survived, luckily, because his head fell. Not at all inflated by pride, I'm no, sure. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, you ready for a pro fight? <laughs> Mike, are you ready? Josh, get the ready. Start fight. Gavin, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so, nice with the heat. so we're wearing anywhere from we're wearing about 50 pounds of armor. A large gentleman like myself or bigger wears close to 100 pounds of armor. So you're wearing padded and maybe clothing underneath to get this really hot. Like you said, 100 degrees outside. And then we're going to have you four do the 2v2. You're going to step in or you want to do the 2 v right here? We're gonna do those four with the two and two. We're gonna do long sword. Alright, long sword. Yeah. Long sword? Go ahead. Yeah.
Mason is smooth criminal against Sarah the Sword. Hello? Can everybody hear me a little better now? Is that better? Awesome. Can I get Troy? Can you help me scoot this hat over to the touch? I'm just worried about. Oh yeah, I'm not. The bride and groom are protected, right? That's what I hear. They're blessed. In fact, we may, in between fights, we may have a night stand on either side just to jump in at the last second just to make sure. So we don't have a list, which means that it's a little bit get a little bit closer to the action. Okay. Are we there may or may not have been music. We're gonna we're ready. <laughs> Okay, we're going to forego music. We're going to announce each night, cheer for your favorite. I'm assuming there's going to be no booing. Maybe you guys already dislike some of these nights. I promise they're all great men in and out of armor. And ladies. And ladies. And ladies. And ladies. Okay, our first night right up front, the bigness himself, Trevor. Trevor may look large, but I promise he looks even bigger when he's moving at 35 miles an hour towards you on the list. Okay, and then we've got Mike, the greatest showman. There's definitely been some incredible takedowns for Mike in the field. And the siege weapon, Josh. called the Trubouche instead. Hey, <laughs> okay, Gavin the Bull. Gavin's in authentic Mongolian armor, I believe. And then we've got Mason, the smooth criminal. <laughs> Okay, we've got Troy the Destroyer, who 
gonna make sure Woo! things don't get too out of hand. My first interaction with Troy was I drove a large diesel truck up to Provo from Ogden. And Troy came by and he's like, I'm a diesel mechanic. This isn't a problem as I'm stuck on the side of the road. I think he pulled a couple of tools out of some places in his truck I didn't know existed. He was able to fix it on the spot. I remember each of these guys maintained jobs outside of this. This is a passion. Um, everybody pays for their own armor. Armor can range, I think the least expensive set that you could possibly get is probably around two grand. 2,500 bucks will get you an armor, but not a lot of weapons. An expensive, fully custom plate kit is about $10,000. Yeah, huge range. So the Salt Lake City Crusaders have grown quite quickly in the Utah area. We have um, 20 people in armor now or better? 20 people in armor. Yeah, that's incredible. And I believe, and I don't, I don't know who else knows about this, but I believe a few of our fighters are being considered to go to Europe. We're going to Ireland in September. <laughs> yeah, when you're fighting on the same ground that your ancestors fought on, that's a cool moment for sure. I mean, it'll be all right. Holiday to Ireland. It'll be all right. No. It'll be all right. No. I know that. Not Euro trip. No. I'm gonna hate it the whole time. Hate it. No, I'm worried about the humidity. I know. I'm gonna go. Not even that. You just sit there and you can feel it rest. Oh, the humidity. It's brutal. I'm humid right now. <laughs> So oh, I don't know hey, if, I like if any of you guys have ever been in a wetsuit and then gone for a hot summer run. That's that's lovely compared to being in a suit of armor. This armor restricts your ability to remove heat from your body. So if you imagine, typically you just sweat a little bit or the breeze comes by. Well, there's plate steel in between your skin and, and the atmosphere outside. You can even see these guys just standing here. You'll notice sweat start to beat up on their faces. Oh, that plate armor. We're not, we're not gonna grab it. A little helmet, helmet test. Okay, in play is Josh. Josh's gauntlets look like a weapon themselves. He is. And then Mike, the greatest showman. It looks like we've got two pole arms going against each other. Two, two handed axe. Two handed axe. Oh, I'm scared. It's not long enough. A pole axe is about five and a half to six and a half feet long. So as long as you're as your rod there? Yeah. <laughs> Depends on the light. <laughs> so anyway. I believe that is six feet. Okay, Dennis just getting the helmet button on. Looks like they're attaching the Simon's hey, the strap. Baby's coming to my house. The Simon's strap was not historical. I believe that's been added in recent times. In case the knight falls on the ground, their helmet flies off. And then another night gets knocked out on top of them. You can get some some really inexpensive facial surgery. Let's not do that. Well, actually, there one gentleman. That's why it's called the Simon Strap. One of the guys that we compete with, his helmet came off, and he had his skull split with a two-handed axe. He survived, luckily, because his head's about yay wide. <laughs> not but, at all inflated by pride. I'm no, sure. not at all. Couldn't tell. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you ready for a pro fight? Yeah. Mike, are you ready? Josh, at the ready. Start fight.
trying to specifically go for like the crotch or the butt, but there are a couple of spots where if a weapon slips through, you can what's called pain a fighter out, where it hurts so bad, you're just like, all right, I'm out. I don't care. This hurts too much. Gavin, you ready? So Mike's struggling with the heat. So we're wearing anywhere from, Sarah's wearing about 50 pounds of armor. A large gentleman like myself or bigger wears close to 100 pounds of armor. So you're wearing padded and maybe clothing underneath, it gets extremely hot. Like I said, 100 degrees outside. We're gonna do those four with the 2v2. All right, long sword it is. Looks like we're doing long sword. Yeah. Mason is smooth criminal against Sarah the Swift. And this is a long sword duel. Okay, we're gonna go for a minute. Anybody got the time? Anybody time? Anybody time? <laughs> Negative, sir. It is night time. <laughs> Bad joke of the day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing a long sword duel. Sarah, are you ready? No, Sarah. Mason, are you ready? <laughs> Start fight. Go, Sarah. <laughs> And who gets hit oh, on the other person? So Sarah gets to shoot the hit. Oh, 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 Some oh, clean defending. Oh, oh. And Mason is, he is not holding back by Sarah at all. The power pulled from these fighters in armor. Not only do you have the sword, which is anywhere from four to eight pounds, but the ten to fifteen pounds of armor on your arm. Actually, she can't see her head wraps over her eyes. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, everybody. We're going to do this by cheering. Who won the first round? Okay, let's hear it for the Mason. We've got a, a slight gauntlet adjustment. 
for Gavin. Sorry if I'm in your way. I don't want you to die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. I can't see. It looks like I know you can't with that. Yeah. No, I can see. I can. I can, I can see. Okay, so we're doing a mixed weapon fight. Now this is a pole axe, the double crucifix. We call these the cheese or the butter knife. It's a grand falchion, large two, uh, about a four foot two handed sword. All right, gentlemen, one Keep minute giant toe. on the clock. <laughs> one minute on the clock. Fighters, are you ready? Ready. Start fight. Okay, gentlemen, reset. 30 seconds to go. All right, fighters, are you ready? Start fight. Go, 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 go. I'll tell you what, getting hit in the head with that rings. That gauntlet strike could be making a finger at this point. Come on, Bull, come on, Bull. fighters where they have to actually exercise an armor in order to build up a tolerance to the heat so that they can continue to expend energy without their body literally giving up on them. Okay, we're coming up on a 2v2. We're waiting on the girls here. She's America. Yeah, Sarah the Swift has red, white, and blue, or equivalent going on. Yeah, she has kind of murky. They're not booty shorts, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do another mixed weapon match. Gavin and Sarah the Swift. Sarah, are you ready? Gavin, are you ready? Start fight. They don't call her Sarah the Swift for nothing. Good dome head on Gavin. Kelly Hell. Out of Gavin's grasp. 30 seconds. Oh. Sarah's actually using that shield to block Gavin's vision. Oh. <laughs> Okay, guys, 10 seconds, count it down. Go ahead. 
There is a, a true camaraderie in this sport. Everybody just wants to be together. And... It's kind of like guys in high school when they fight. They hate each other's guts until they have a fist fight. Then they know who can win, and then they're best friends after that. So. <laughs> You went to a different place. Yeah. Oh, boy. Nice and easy out of the way. Woo! Oh, so good. Amazing. It should happen at every wedding. Every wedding. Those with weddings are so long. Oh, my God. So, Sarah. Shouldn't you just be able to rivet that back together? Yes. Yes, I should be able to. A pretty simple repair, I would hope. Me too, I like this buckler. <laughs> that was pretty good. I haven't even broke a buckler yet. I must I admit space, but I haven't broke a buckler. <laughs> but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, accidents still happen in this sport. We've had broken arms, busted fingers. Sarah about lost a finger. I've had... That guy, I won't offend all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had two concussions from this sport. Luckily, I had some coming into it. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. <laughs> but yeah, there's still things that happened. One of our senior fighters, he's had his arm broken twice. So uh, stuff still happens. Austin. Stuff still happens. But for the most part, the armor does its job. That's what it was designed for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for our next fight, what are we calling him now? Siege Weapon. Siege Weapon. Josh and Siege Weapon. Yeah. And Mason, the smooth criminal. Hey, guys, choose your crowd favorite. When they get a hit, cheer for them. All right, Mason, are you ready? Josh, are you ready? Start fight. Come on, have to go down. Josh is in the full plate, and Mason is in the primarily black armor. Ooh. Josh is trying to break that hand. They're really trying to take you to fight it down. Once you're on your back, your life's pretty oh. much over. Yeah. I think that handle's got no. one more hit in it. Yeah. <laughs> Mason's trying to break the handle, then he can get in close. What has 30 seconds? This is why they call them the trubuchet or the siege weapon. <laughs> That looked like a plan technique. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who is your winner? Is it Mason? Is it the siege weapon? Crowd tonight. <laughs> 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 Never saw pretty heavy duty stuff. I went way for the Yeah, that's what it is. I'm hearing mumbling from the crowd is so hot. That's yeah. like kettle calling the pop Thank black one. <laughs> Medium rare. <laughs> Medium rare. <laughs> we may or may not be cooking over here. <laughs> You guys medium rare? A little bit. Alright, you guys want to line up and go back in? Hold on. 
You want to fight Sarah? Oh, the big one from Sarah! He's calling her out! The bigness versus the swift! The bigness versus the swiftness. Yeah. Is Steve the straight better? We'll soon find out. Oh. Um. My medieval drawers are about in my name. I think I don't know whose padding this is, but... Yeah, somebody's got some padding, we're missing rivets. It, it might be slightly messed up. You need what you want to. Oh, Alright, let's interview for a quick second. The bigness, how much do you weigh with armor? Come on, man, I like to keep my figure. You know, I'm tight. I'm tight. I'm tight. I'm tight. I'm a 350 out of armor. So, I like you to laugh. Oh, no. I forgot it was in this one. Yeah, this kid's 110 pounds. So you're 460 pounds? Oh, comfortably? Yeah. <laughs> comfortable, yeah. That's what it is. Comfortable. Sarah, what, what are you looking at? Uh, 116. Okay, and with armor? I haven't weighed in yet, but I'm going to guess probably around 160. Yeah, an angry 160. Yeah, an angry 160. Pounds. So I guess we're doing dirty style boxing. Oh, we go real dirty. We're going real dirty. We're going raw, ladies and gentlemen. We're going raw. When you've lost all your weapons and all you have left is your fist. <laughs> Catch these hands, Steve. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have ourselves a 1450 boxing match. Sarah the Swift, are you ready? Trevor, the thickness. I don't like the bigness. The thickness with two C's. Yeah. Are you ready? 50 50. 50 50. Start fight. Now, this is where I question the usefulness of a therapist. Is the armor getting in? Before this, she's slipping out of everything. Doing <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a nerdy. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Don't turn your back on Sarah the Swift. <laughs> We're roadhouse, we're roadhouse. Roadhouse, roadhouse. Hey, I, I think this last one's to the death. You got a kick in there. Is that a head fight? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of camaraderie in this sport. Yeah, I think one of my favorite things about it is just people are looking out for each other and want to help each other and it's, uh, I think it's one of the few sports where you really, you have a family that you can rely on and people that you can trust and everybody lends a hand. There's been a couple of people on the team and, and in other teams that I've seen that have gotten hurt and people have pitched in to help pay medical bills. It's, it's truly a community and a family of fighters here. We're so grateful that you guys have had us here today. Hopefully we'll go 
Olympian class of the past. All right, we'll have a few minutes for pictures. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid to ask for pictures. Talk to them, they don't bite. <laughs> They're all for pictures. They want to answer any questions you have. And by all means, stop by and say hello. Once again, we're the Salt Lake City Crusaders, and we thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. 